Can Accelerator defeat Kamijo Terma? That's a stupid question. Yes, I know Terma has beaten Accelerator more than once. So why bother ask this question? Well, there are two sides of the argument, depending if you are an Accelerator fanboy or a Terma fanboy and fangirls. I don't discriminate. Accelerator fans say, Poof, Terma can only win with plot armor. Because there's no way Accelerator, as the strongest level 5 Esper, could lose to a feeble level 0. Meanwhile, Terma fans are like, Ha! Accelerator has been wiped by Terma without even needing to use the hidden powers beyond the right hand. Accelerator is a joke. I'm going to be the sensible adult here and approach this argument from a nuanced point of view. As yes, I do believe Accelerator can defeat Terma. Aeon, what are you smoking? Don't you know that Toma has fish eggs and eight dragons? Yes, I already know. If you've watched my videos about why Accelerator lost to Toma in their first and second fights, you'll know that in the sisters arc, Accelerator was overconfident and wasn't really utilizing his abilities enough. Likely as the shock of being smacked hard for the first time impaired him. And in World War 3, he was currently having an existential crisis and wasn't exactly sound of mind, in my honest opinion. The point is, we haven't seen these two fight where Accelerator is experienced enough, wants to win, and isn't going berserk. Therefore, I think current light novel Accelerator versus current light novel Terma is a pretty engaging topic, which I guess I did touch upon briefly in this video, but there's plenty more I want to say. Also, this video will have spoilers for abilities and equipment of the characters at the end of New Testament, so you have been warned. If you've seen the series before or read the novels, you should know about Terma's Imagine Breaker, with its ability to negate almost any supernatural power, which has proven to be Accelerator's kryptonite on multiple occasions, as it cancels out Accelerator's ability to redirect any attacks which have vectors of physics. But I don't think Imagine Breaker is a huge problem for Accelerator, as long as he doesn't rush in towards Terma's fist like a dumbass. Accelerator became a way more experienced fighter after his humiliating defeat, as he could no longer rely solely on his reflection, as proven with his fights against Amata, Kikine, and Worst. And he also demonstrated impressive feats of speed, like when he blitzed Salome, who could easily react to Misaka's railgun and electricity, and being able to keep up with Archangel Gabriel, whose speed was on par with Saint Tia characters. The same saints who could easily wipe the floor with Toma before he could react. So, theoretically, Accelerator should be faster than Toma can react if he uses his supersonic speed properly. Unless there's an argument to be made about Toma's precognition, working better against espers than magicians, then fair enough. But with Toma's running speed, he ain't gonna catch Accelerator anyway unless they are up close. That's ignoring the fact that he can fly too. How's Toma gonna catch him? Along with the important fact that he now has access to something that could easily alter the odds with Toma at the mere touch of a button, literally. Accelerator was given Alistair's phone, which he can call upon exclusive Academy City technology to use as weapons, such as a deadly optical laser from space, large man-eating plants, and something called Mimosa, which are nanobots that can destroy the cells of a target. And since these scientific weapons aren't supernatural in nature, Thomas Imagibreaker is utterly useless against them. Not to mention he also has something pretty simple, known as Gun. Taking all of this into account, with Accelerator's battle knowledge, his speed, and his new weapons, as long as he doesn't act like a complete idiot or get screwed by the plot, I think there is almost little chance of Terma winning. That being said, there's an elephant in the room I haven't addressed, which is Terma's trump card, the powers beyond the right hand. If you want a full list of these powers, then watch this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Accelerator himself is probably unaware of Terma's hidden powers, as I don't think he saw what came out of Terma's arm when they worked together to defeat Coronzon. Unless I missed it, then correct me if I'm wrong. That means Accelerator might fall into the trap of severing Terma's arm without knowing the consequences. With the powers beyond the right arm, it's a different ball game, specifically the dragons and perhaps fish eggs, which I will talk about. The invisible thing, on the other hand, doesn't really have any feats, other than negating Fiamma's strike, which was magical in nature. So whether it could stop non-supernatural attacks is unclear. 
In regard to the dragons, they were each revealed to have their own unique set of abilities, which could affect Accelerator if they don't operate under vectors. And they were shown to be able to consume supernatural matter, so maybe they could eat Accelerator's shield. Although we did see the angel dragon get pinned down by Misaka's iron sand, which is pretty pathetic to be honest. And this was before it started to crumble thanks to Uiharu. Maybe this was because the angel dragon was weaker since it was being powered by a black hole in this instance. As as opposed to the forces within Toma, which you could argue as being stronger. I don't know. Either way, there's probably the argument to be made that Accelerator would have enough force to be able to take on the dragons, or at least stalemate them, while he uses Alistair's phone or some other means to target Toma. The problem with the dragons, or the powers beyond the right hand, generally, is that they have so few feats, and we don't know enough about them to make informed decisions about what could happen if they fancied Accelerator for dinner plus them eating an energy ball that was going to destroy Academy City and more, is nothing compared to when Accelerator shook the goddamn galaxy. Accelerator, in his current state with Platinum Wings, has more impressive feats than the dragons, in my opinion. So far, anyway. Who knows what will happen in the future? But Aeon, what about the fish eggs? After rereading New Testament 22, where this unusual ability debuted, I noticed something fishy. The jokes truly write themselves sometimes. The eggs appeared after the power of Interma's arm reached its limit, after being severed by Coronzon. When they appeared, they destroyed her soul or energy form and split the Royal Yacht Britannia in two. Not bad. For a while, I noticed people were saying that the eggs were stronger than a magic god's attack with this feat, but this scan actually refers to the wall or barrier protecting the temple on the ship from the outside not the inside in which Terma used this ability, as he was directly inside the temple when this happened. And he didn't even destroy the thing, he just split the ship in two. Do the eggs even abide by vectors, or do they have some qualities of a magic breaker that allows them to nullify supernatural abilities? Since they did destroy Coronzon's soul, which is supernatural, then maybe it could cancel out Accelerator's shield. However, that's an assumption at best. And I don't know if it would be able to destroy Accelerator's soul, since he isn't a demon, and his soul wasn't exposed like Coronzon's was, as it had been separated from her physical body. Plus, the eggs are even more situational than the dragons, as they only appear when Terma's arm has reached its maximum limit. So most of the time, if you cut off Terma's arm, they aren't going to appear. Which is why, if Accelerator and Terma threw hands in the next volume, the fish eggs will be nowhere to be seen, even if Terma loses his arm. Again, there are too many unknown factors in regards to the eggs, which is why I placed Accelerator above Terma on my old top 10 strongest Toaru characters list that every 14-year-old Discord user likes to put out of context. Now you know why. But this isn't a final list or anything silly like that. Does Terma have a bullshit power in his arm that could probably fade Platinum Wings Accelerator harder than Yamcha? Most likely. The point is, we haven't seen enough feats to prove that, and the fact Accelerator has convenient tools and valuable experience at his disposal to potentially come out on top. But knowing Kamachi, Terma will probably get a fourth W and tell Accelerator to get his ass out of prison by saying he's not living his life correctly. Do you agree or disagree with my take? Let me know down below in the comments and check out these Accelerator and Terma videos on screen right now if you want to watch more content regarding these two characters. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.